everyone, happy Easter. I hope everyone's having a great day. As request, I'll be posting this uh, new build that I'm for Drag Bones, the Emperor build. Um, this build excels at gaining ultimate and having decently high health. This is a medium armor build, so you're not unkillable by any means. Just letting you guys know, but this build really excels at open world and battlegrounds. So let's go ahead and show. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm currently running set wise. We're running two piece Lecky. We run this for the additional weapon damage, main hand Nern web damage glyph, off hand sharpen disease glyph, back bar any two way jacks that you would like. I run double dot poisons with it. Sometimes it stacks well with the axe blade, a lot of damage. Monster set blood spawn. I find this being the best monster set in the game for a stamp bar currently, just because of a. Uh, how outnumbered a solo player can be these days, or even small groups. I find this proc quite often, even in duels, this procs a lot. And we're running this for the stand recovery, and then when you take take damage, you gain 14 ultimate, and then you also get your physical and spell resistance increased by 6450 for 6 seconds. And this obviously can occur for every 6 seconds, so this set is amazing. And it plays well into what we're trying to do here. And then the 5 piece, is warrified and it gives you a max health, stamina, weapon damage, and then when you take damage you gain five ultimate. It's gonna occur every five seconds. So these two play these two stack with each other. And then uh three agility for the max stam, weapon damage. And then we're running two weapon damage glyph on the jewelry and one stam recovery. You can run two stam recovery and one weapon damage, that's fine too. Alright? Um, when I'm talking about ulti region, we're also stacking it with this um, combat frenzy, which is in the assault line. What this does is when you kill an enemy player, you gain 20 ultimate. So that's how, that's what we're doing, that's what we're trying to do right here. Okay? We are an Imperial. Increase your max health by 12%, max stamina by 10, and then your melee attacks have a 10% chance to restore 6% of your max health. Um, I don't really have a problem with sustain too often, so and like I said, I'm trying to build for more max health and max stam. And this will, this is um, helps me out doing this. Um, if you want, you can go orc or red guard, even argonian. So it's it's it's, uh, it's whatever you guys want to do. And then obviously, you want your alchemy with this medicinal use passive. So um, go ahead and go in the front bar real quick. Running Binding Jabs, Binding Javelin, Repentance. We're going to be running Rending Slashes. We run Rending for the Snare. You can also run Blood Craze for the heal. It's up to you. If you need more healing, run Blood Craze. If you don't, then run Rending. Um, and then run Power of the Light. And then Dawnbreaker is Smiting. Okay. And then we're going to be running Revol Resolving Vigor, Rally. Rally, um, restoring focus, and what this does is it gives you major, major resolve and major war, increasing your physical resistance and spell resistance, and you also gain minor vitality and minor protection. Keep this rune down. You have to stay in it. Remember, it, it stays on for 18 seconds, but it's also on a time limit too. Every eight seconds, if you leave it, so make sure you reapply it on the ground. It's really cheap. I mean, it don't cost nothing. Or you go jump back in it. This will really help you become really tanky. And then this is obviously to cleanse anything you have on you. Extend ritual. Don't spam this. It's really expensive. So that's that. Um, and then we're also running uh, for the ultimate run, empowering sweep. You can run remembrance right here, but I find it quite cheesy. And I don't, I don't know. I just I don't really like it. I really run this. And uh, I know it's magic damage, but what we're going for is at the very bottom. Reduce the damage dealt to you by 15% for 10 seconds, plus an additional 4% chance for each enemy hit. Okay, so, you know, we just, we're not going to get hit as hard. This is more for like a 1v1 scenario, you know, when you get XT1 as well. Okay, um, let's go ahead and show you guys what the stats look like buffed up. So, we're sitting around 27k health. 30. I think we got hand bonus in this campaign. 
Yeah, we do. We got Emperor ship. Okay, so I'm sitting around about 25k health. Realistically, 25, 26, somewhere around there. We are running the Serpent Mundus. Okay, everything into stamina. Um, 38. You guys see the stats? Okay. 43 weapon crit. Stamina recovery. 1943. Pop a pot. 22, 2200, stain recovery, all that good stuff. It's around 2800, almost 2900 crit resistance. So that's the stats for this. Okay. And then we'll hop into CP real quick. Let's go blue tree first. Nothing in the bless. If you want more healing, you can put more in the bless. Up to you. 48 and master at arms. Increase your dawn breaker. 66 Thaumaturge, 48 Precise Strikes, 64 Mighty, 14 Piercing. We run Power of Light too, because that'll help um, decrease their physical pin. Using the Fracture. And then uh, 61 Ironclad, 44 Resistance, 56 Thick Skin, 32, 32. We want the Unchained Passive, 15 Quick Recovery, 11 Siphoner, 51 Warlord. You take this out and put 56 into this. And then distribute around the clock, putting some into the foul out of here if you want. Uh, 56 Boon Calf, 64 Tenacity, 51 Tumbling, 7 Shadow Ward. I'm going to show you. So, the Dawnbreaker. This is what this build's based off the Dawnbreaker. Almost pushes 16k with a. 18.2 K dot pretty pretty beastly if you ask me it helps so and then the jab tool tip is around 37 30 it's around 30 30 3784 um, obviously this is increased with the weapon damage clip my prox it's a little over 4k um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that just comment below my best to answer them like I said remember we are an Imperial so keep that in mind. Um, anyways, have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next vid.